I wanted to become a data scientist and machine learning engineer but here I am just migrating to a project writing the manual ETL jobs every day and I am not achieving anything that I wanted to achieve. I did not start with the data engineering and I did not even think about becoming a data engineer. So how did I become one? In this video I will tell you about my journey to become a data engineer. I used to work as a web developer and I used to work on different technologies such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript and PHP. Now I thought of shifting my career from data science to machine learning so i started taking different courses at that time there was a huge hype around data science and machine learning everyone wanted to become data scientist so i also decided to join that particular race i started taking multiple courses on data science and machine learning so i learned about machine learning from andrew ng course from coursera and i also took random data science course from udemy and all the other websites after learning these things i started working on python sql and all the basic knowledge required for data scientists and machine learning engineer i did not even know whether these skills are going to help me or not so i anyway learned it because i read somewhere in the blog that these are the necessary skills to become a data scientist so i started learning that so while i was doing these courses i also got to know about the website called as kegel kegel is basically a competitive website for data scientists and machine learning engineers so where you get some data sets and you can start applying your machine learning and data science knowledge on top of it and start to build models and find insights and all this stuff like that so i tried solving problem on kegel but i could not do it so what i used to do i used to go on kegel pick some problem some data sets and tried solving it but i could not even do it i just used to close my browser and quit everything at that particular moment because i did not have the proper guidance and proper path to learn all these things so after giving up the kegel problem i used to think that i need to learn more in order to be able to solve this problem so i used to do different courses again to learn different things such as i started taking courses on tensorflow around the machine learning all the new libraries and all the different technologies i started learning each and everything thinking once i do this particular course then i will be able to create the project and solve the, this particular problem but i was wrong but instead of solving the problem i created the new problem which was i got stuck in certification loop so what i used to do i used to do courses after courses thinking this particular course will help me to become a data scientist or machine learning engineer but this never happened let me give you the big brother advice you won't find any single course that will teach you everything you want to learn in data science machine learning or data engineering these type of course does not exist you will get some part from one course you will get some part from other course so stop finding courses that will teach you everything instead focus on your fundamental and start learning about it and we're going to be talking about this particular thing in further down the video so stick with me now so when i realized that i'm stuck in this particular loop i started finding different ways to get out of this loop so one of the thing was i started building one project i did not even know about that project but i found this particular problem which is basically in the college when we have exams okay we generally click pictures of different notebooks and notes in order to revise before the exam so after the exam gets over we have the huge list of the notes that we had to delete it but it is really manual process that you need to go and select the right images in order to delete those images so i built a machine learning classifier that used to detect this picture and delete it by itself so this was my first project that i posted on linkedin and i also got a lot of different views and this project gave me the confidence and understanding of how things work in machine learning and data science world so before this project i've done more than 15 to 20 courses but this one project gave me the all the experience that i needed in order to learn machine learning again i'm telling you i did not start with the data engineering till now i did not even know about what data engineering was so after completing my notes detection project i started applying for different internships and i got my first data science internship which was unpaid so i've done around 3 internships in my life and out of those 3 internships two were completely unpaid so as a data science intern i worked on keyword extraction so when we go to stack overflow we see a question and we see a tag associated with those particular questions so my job in this internship was to take a technical book build a questions out of it and build a tag that i can attach with those questions so this was my initial task in this particular internship so i started working on that and here i learned natural language processing so i got to know about how to work with different text data how to process text data working with the stop for keywords and all the other things i learned here nlp was one more thing that i did not learn in my previous courses so this internship helped me to understand different path that i can take in my future so after i completed this particular internship i was still trying to figure out different ways to build my knowledge and i was still searching for new internships so i also found one more internship which was data engineering internship i took this internship because i just wanted some kind of work so that i can showcase my world and get a job in my future so this was my initial goal so i was not worrying about like picking the right career i was just thinking that i just want to get some kind of experience in some company so that i can get a good job in future this was my initial goal so this is where i got introduced to data engineering so there was no clear path about learning data engineering in my case so i started with the aws so i learned about aws services because the project i was working on required aws knowledge so i started 
started learning that AWS. Then I also started learning the SQL because I was working with different databases in order to pull the database. Also, I was writing some transformation job. So I had to learn PySpark and all the other transformation framework that was included. So this is basically how I got started with data engineering. In my data engineering career or in my list of job career, I've worked on the multiple projects as a data engineer. Now, one type of project you will be working if you get into data engineering is the migration project. Companies who are old might have their data stored in some legacy system. So for the example, let's say they are using SQL Server. Now they want to move their SQL Server to the Postgres because they want to reduce the cost and all the other things that might be affecting their work. So they want to migrate to this particular server. And this happens normally when you get into data engineering, you will realize most of the companies are moving from old databases to new databases or new system. This is the one type of project you will be working a lot. Second type of project, I was working on ETL projects. So ETL projects are pretty simple. You have data in your relational database or somewhere in the staging server such as S3, Google Cloud Storage or anything. You take that data, you transform it based on the business logic. Then you pass the data into data warehouse and build visualization dashboard and all the other things. So this was the second type of project I used to work on. And the third type of project I used to work on was analytics and building dashboard. Because once you have your data warehouse ready, then you start building dashboard and do some analysis on top of it and start helping the business to learn more about their business and improve their day to day life cycle. So this was a general project that I used to work on in my job days and internship day. But while I was working on this project, I had a thought that I wanted to become a data scientist and machine learning engineer. But here I am just migrating project, writing the manual ETL jobs every day and I'm not achieving anything that I wanted to achieve. And this is the normal feeling you will get when you are trying to get into a new field because you might be skeptical about some of the fields when you are getting into it. But the best way to overcome that is to go and try to find an internship and work on actual projects that will give you the real time overview of what this industry really looks like. So as a data engineering, you might feel that you are doing repetitive jobs such as writing ETL job, pulling data from the SQL by writing same query, just tweaking a little bit based on the business logic and all the other things. But in my case, I wanted to work on the coding side and the business side and the data engineering is the blend of code and business so i kind of liked it so i started continuing my career and the path in data engineering so this was basically how i became a data engineer and there was no structured method now let's talk about how you guys can become a data engineer even though i created a detailed roadmap on data engineering let me tell you that roadmap does not work the way you want so you might be expecting that i'm just going to follow these steps are defined in the roadmap and i will become a data engineer or data scientist so whenever we want to learn anything we generally start by finding the roadmap because we want some kind of structured learning that can help me to go from zero to becoming an expert in that particular field. But let me tell you this, that each and every person has different path and journey. So if you compare my journey and my learning with some other data engineers, they will have the complete different learnings. And if you show them this roadmap, they might have the different opinions. So I will make detailed video on how to learn from the roadmap and what kind of mindset you should have when you're dealing with the roadmap. But in this video, let's focus on how you can become a data engineer. So number one thing you need to learn is programming language. If you're not sure, then you can start with the Python and start working on it. Second thing is learn SQL because SQL is one of the most important and you will be spending your 80 to 90% of the time writing SQL queries, pulling some data and doing some transformation on top of it. So learn SQL. So third thing is learn the fundamentals of the big data. If you want the course recommendation, then I've already created a video. Then you can watch that after this particular video. So you basically need to define some kind of deadline when you're learning anything. So let's say in the one month you want to learn about programming language in a SQL. Next month you're going to learn about some basic theory. And on the third month, you can start executing some projects by yourself. I also have like long project series on my channel, so you can also follow that. Or if you find some good projects on other channels or other sources, then you can also work on that. Because this is really important. No matter how many courses you do or videos you watch or books you read, if you cannot execute the project by yourself, then it is completely useless. So make sure you, whenever you learn anything, you start applying that knowledge. If you want the project ideas, I also have the video on this channel. If you want to do the project, I also have the long series on this channel so you can watch that. So once you learn and once you do a project, then start applying for internships right away because don't wait for that particular course or once I learn this particular skill then I will apply for the internship or a job don't wait for that just start applying for the internship because it will take you around six months to one year just to find a good or decent internship and the last thing is start learning everything in the public so share your knowledge with other people do some LinkedIn posts be active on Twitter and try to spread your knowledge across different people on this community your journey to become a data engineer will not be straight okay everyone has different journey so you need to take this action as a challenge and find your own path and before you find your own path make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are new here this will help my channel to grow and reach more and more people see you in the next video thank you